Good morning and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Kathy Shelton. Well, it's that time of the year for producers who use wheat to graze cattle and eventually harvest grain to decide when to remove their cattle from the wheat. And what better person to talk to about that this morning than small grains extension specialist, Jeff Edwards. So Jeff, what is the first thing that we need to consider before pulling our cattle from the pasture? Well, years of research at OSU and, and some research at other states have shown that first hollow stem is the optimal growth stage to remove cattle from wheat pasture. Uh, we used to remove cattle based on calendar date, March 15th, uh, but we, we found with years of research that that was really too late. In some cases, it was as much as a month too late to remove cattle from wheat pasture. For, so first hollow stem is when they need to come off the wheat pasture. So when does first hollow stem occur? Does it occur at different times? It, it does. There are things that influence it. Uh, the, the warmness of the winter that we had uh, can kind of influence it. This has been a, a very cold winter, obviously. Uh, the planting date influences it, also variety influences it. We have some varieties such as Overly uh, that are very early to first hollow stem and we have others such as Endurance that are up to three weeks later in first hollow stem. Most of the time in Oklahoma, first hollow stem occurs between February 15th and March 1st. Okay, so folks need to be getting out there now then and taking now, a look. Now's the time to start checking. Even though it's been cold, uh, those wheat plants got quite a bit of growth on them during the winter. All right, so what do we need to look for? Are you gonna show us what we Well, we need to check in a non-grazed area of okay. wheat. Uh, that's important because if you just check in areas that were grazed, the, the wheat will, will never reach first hollow stem or it'll reach first hollow stem much later then you need to actually pull the plants up because at this time of year the growing point of the wheat is actually still below the soil surface. So I carry a garden spade with me here, pull the plants up and hopefully we'll warm up in a few weeks and they won't be frozen like they are today. Then you can use either a knife or a box cutter to uh, cut the, the base of those plants off. Take the largest tiller mm -hmm. and split it open and see if there's any hollow stem present. And in this case, there's not any hollow stem yet. Okay. What we're going to be looking for is about a half an inch of hollow stem. And that's about the same as the diameter of a, of a dime. So if we have a hollow stem equivalent to the diameter of a dime, then we're at first hollow stem and we need to remove cattle from wheat pasture. So what happens if uh, producers wait and they don't remove it right at first hollow stem? Well, obviously the, their cattle gains are going to continue to go up, but the, uh, the wheat yield, the impact of grazing on wheat yield declines very rapidly if you graze past first hollow stem. What we have here is, is a plant canopy that's meant to intercept sunlight and build plant material. Mm -hmm. When we have cattle out here grazing, they're removing this plant canopy. If you pull the cattle off by first hollow stem, you're allowing the plant more time to recover that green, uh, green leaf area that has been lost to grazing and hopefully you'll be able to, uh, to protect your grain yield. Now, the amount of moisture that we've had, is this going to affect first hollow stem at all? The, the amount of moisture really won't affect it that much. Uh, unless it's just extremely dry or, or extremely wet. Uh, so that's probably not going to affect it. Uh, ho however, some things that will affect it is, is obviously the cold winter. But it, it's going to warm up one of these days and wheat is what we call a photoperiodic plant. And whenever the days start getting longer, Mother Nature tells this plant that, hey, it's time to kick in gear, go into reproductive mode and start forming that wheat head. Okay, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.